envelopes travel better, I usually stick a few sheets of scrapbook paper inside to stiffen it up a little bit so it's all right to go through their machines. And then in addition, or instead of the normal adhesive that's already on the envelope, I usually run a glue stick along just to make sure all the edges are sealed up and nothing's going to get stuck in a postal machine. And it can still happen, but it reduces the likelihood. Okay, to start, squirt a little bit of gesso on your envelope. Take an old credit card or a hotel key, smear it around a little bit. And then I use three colors of acrylic paint. You can use any kind that you like, any combination of colors that you like. Be careful with some colors. You don't want them to mix and get sort of muddy. But I happen to be using uh, light blue, cadmium yellow, and medium magenta. So I'm going to start with the blue. Dab a few spots of it on the envelope. Just a few. Again, take the credit card, spread it around, then take your next color, which is my magenta, and dot it in a few places that are still white. Again, take the card, and finally finish up with your third color, which for me is my yellow. And again, take the card. Spread it around. Again, if you know if you want more of any of the colors, you can go ahead and add as you like. All right, now I'm going to stop and I will let this dry for a little while. A little trusty dryer heat tool. Now again, I just sprinkled or drizzled a little gesso over the top. I just have my little brayer and I'm going to just randomly spread the gesso around. So that's how it sits now. Now we'll leave that dry completely. Back, the front is dry. I hit it with the heat tool and then I also did the back in the same way. So the entire envelope has its paint on it now. So the next thing I did was I used Stazon ink in stone gray. You can use any color you want. And I happened to use this stamp and I just hit it. I don't want the leaf, I just want the text on there. And I just want it randomly. I don't want it all over. So you just kind of ink up, hit it, and then same thing on the back. adds a little bit of interest to the background. Then I took my favorite stamp. It's, I don't know, it's like a um, French script or something by Inka Dinka Do. And Liquitex fluorescent orange paint. And a paintbrush. Let me just squirt a little bit of paint out here. And again, you can use any color paint that you want. You can use another color ink if you want. I just thought uh, I would jazz it up a little bit. So lightly brush the paint onto the stamp. 
and again random spots and we won't be able to do the back of this one right now for you know, obviously because this would smear so I'll hit that later then um, wash this off before your paint has a chance to dry so we'll let this dry set it aside and while that's drying we can assemble our collage images from the magazine so I've already rather than have you watch me thumb through the magazines for hours I already have my pieces cut out so we'll just glue them together for this part I just use I'm using a glue stick when we actually glue them down to the envelope I won't use a glue stick I'll be using a gel medium but for this part it's fine to assemble our little characters body on this is a lemon slice on the bottom and a sugar donut on the top the little beak is part of a compass and the wings are part of a flower so you can be pretty creative when you're assembling things for magazine images there so that one will dry the glue can dry and when it's done um, by the time the paint is dry we'll be ready to glue on this little character the bottom is uh, a net bathroom sponge the top half is an orange slice again part of a flower for the wings Side to dry. The orange from the stamp is now dry thanks to my trusty heat tool and now we'll put on our little characters that we made. They are like funky little birds. So some people use glue sticks for their images. I have the best luck with matte medium so I'm going to just dump a little bit of that on my sheet. And then I also cut out three little triangle pieces that we'll put over on the other side to balance it out a little bit. So we'll glue them. When you're going through the magazines, be creative. These triangle pieces were just parts of a, I think they were a dress. Blue is dry thanks to my trusty heat tool once again and we're going to flip over and do the back now normally I would do probably the front all um, do the detail work and everything but to speed things up here uh, okay I'm going to do a similar to the little character in the characters in the front I'm going to do part of a head in the back so this is a dish of dog food Okay, for the wing, I've got, this is part of a rose petal, and the quote, and my scissor. I already found the quote that I used on the other envelope, and I'll just use the same one, and that is, your wings already exist, all you have to do now is fly, or all you have to do is fly. So I've got the words cut out here. So 
So I'll glue these on and then I'll be back. Now we're ready for the detail work, which is usually my favorite part of a, a project like this. So all I'm using is a regular black ink pen, and I've got some an assortment of Sharpie markers, uh, permopaque markers, a painty pen by Zig, just an assortment. I won't sit here and make you watch me want, do the, all of the detailing. Um, what I'm going to do is outline the figures. I'm going to highlight the eyes with markers. And um, oh, I'm going to draw some flowers. I'm going to give them some legs. So we'll start with uh, I'll outline. I'm going to put some gesso in the center. I'll do it right now. just a bit and that will give us a good place to write the address for whoever is going to receive it. Then I'm also going to draw a line across the bottom to sort of ground the figure. You can see So I'm going to put some gesso over that. And then a dab of green. Alright, back to the detail work. I drew the legs in and then I went over the legs with a white Sharpie pen. When that's dry, I'll give them some little black stripes. Also, the eye is kind of um, blah. It's kind of blah. So I'm going to jazz that up with poster paint pens or this. Um, I'll brighten up the white and I'll give the eyeball itself iris some color. All right, now I'm going to take some ink, stays on ink, and just run it along the edge of that the little grassy area. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of Pantone Pastel on a Q-tip for the shading. All right, there it is. So I'll let it dry and then do the back side the same kind of detail work. So that's side one. All right, your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. Thanks for watching my video today. I hope you liked it. Please leave constructive comments. <laughs> Any comments. Constructive preferably. And um, again, thanks. Bye now.